Now, before starting the video, I would like to talk about the sponsor of this video, KeysFan. KeysFan.com offers cheap and legal OEM software keys in an easy way. You can activate software such as Windows and Microsoft Office in a fast and reliable way. With these keys that are 100% official and suitable for online activation, Moreover, they offer lifetime after-sales support in addition to 24 by 7 customer support. The Black Friday sale is on right now, so don't miss Keys Fan Mega Discount. If you are interested, you can check the links in the description. Add the product you need to your cart and catch 52% discount for Windows Series with RTG52 and 62% discount for Microsoft Office and Bundle with RTG62. Don't forget to check the description for details. What's going on, everyone? It's RGB Tech back here again. In today's video, we're taking a look at a brand new Windows emulator for Android device, the WinLater AJ, with complete Steam support based on glibc version. This is one of the best forks of the popular WinLater emulator. All right, now let's go to releases section. And this is the WinLater glibc mod Steam version. In this version, they added DXVK 2.4.1 dev build and updated DXVK 2.4.1 async. A full version of the latest Steam is preloaded. You won't need to manually install dependencies like Mono Gecko or fix fonts. They're already included in this Wine 9.2. All right, now let's go to Assets. Simply download and install the package. Now I'll close it. Open WinLater, AJ. Allow permission. Also allow the file access. Everything is same as usual we did in our recent videos. Now let's head over to Settings. Here set Box64 version to 0.3.1 custom build, or if you are using 8 Gen 2, then choose 8G2 build or you can choose 0.3.1, which is currently the best. Set preset to performance. Here I'll create a custom preset for better performance. Set Dynarec safe flags to value zero, then save settings, create a new container. Here I'll set resolution to lower. Set the turnip driver 24.3.0, so, which is currently the best optimal version. And to DXVK, set DXVK version to the latest 2.4.1 dev build. It depends. Some games might use different versions. Audio driver to pulse audio. Set MIDI sound font. Everything is same. Enable full screen mode. In Wine configuration, set GPU name to GTX 1050 or higher. Video memory size is set to four gigs. And two environment variables. DXVK HUD is already enabled if you want FPS readings and stuff. Now to advanced, preset is set to custom one we created. Aggressive mode is enabled with all CPU cores affinity. Now save the container. One more thing, which is more important, like go to its app settings. Go to battery optimization. Set it to no restriction to enhance performance. Of course, this will drain the battery faster as it uses maximum power. I'll enable ultimate mode for better performance. Also, I do recommend using cooler to avoid overheat of the device. All right, now simply boot the container Let's go to start, to test Direct3D. It's fine, we are getting more frames this time. Also to wine configuration. Set version to Windows 10. All right guys, now it's time for the test. In this video, I'm testing out the God of War. Simply I'll create shortcut to it. Now exit container. Now let's go to shortcuts, to settings. Set resolution to lowest 480p. Turnip is same as usual. For this game, setting 1.10.3 is recommended as it is the best optimized version if you are using Snapdragon 888 or lower set frame rate to 30. Now to advanced, here again set box 64 version to 0.3.1. Preset to custom. Enable RTS controller. Now save. That's it. Here, I'm going to test it on different settings using AMD FSR 2.0 enabled, with the graphics set to low. Motion blur is off.
All right, now let's set FSR to quality mode. This time, the quality is enhanced and upscaled even though we are running it at 480p resolution, which is quite remarkable. However, the device is getting a bit hot. But good thing about this emulator is that it's maintaining quite stable FPS. Anyways, that's all for today's video guys, hope you liked. Share this video and subscribe to us for more stuff. And what do you think of this update? Let me know in the comments below. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.